Okay, in this video we're just talking about the new DCC18 uh, dummy battery adapter for Lumix cameras and essentially this was sort of quietly released alongside the, um, the GH7 and it's one of those things where, you know, anyone that owned the GH7 knew the kind of the drawbacks of it. You know, you've got one USB-C port, you can use that for SSD recording or you can use it for power delivery to top up the internal battery. Ideally, what Panasonic should have done is updated the body design slightly to have two USB-C ports. So we could have done both of these things. Um, but as a sort of small consolation, instead, what they've done is they've released this adapter. So it's a dummy battery, which is um, the same as the DCC-17 battery. So that's a BLK-22 um, replacement, essentially. So. Um, if you've got, it's, it's built for the GH7, but if you've got the GH7, GH6, G9 Mark II, uh, the S52 or 2X, um, or even the S9 actually, um, th this is going to be something that's compatible with your camera. But essentially, what it's going to allow you to do, we, we kind of did a video about this before. I've got like a third party version of, of this from a long time ago, you know, like people have been making dummy batteries like this for a long time and I think Panasonic probably just wanted to get on top of actually having an official one so that you know they could kind of see away some of these and um, essentially what it'll allow you to do is you plug this part into the camera obviously into the battery pack and then you've got a USB-C end here and then what you can do is just take your power bank and plug in a USB-C cable to this end, USB-C cable to the power bank and then you've got power delivery to the camera and it's sort of external power delivery coming from a power bank. And then that frees up your USB-C port in the side of the camera to then do SSD recording. And the kind of cherry on the top with it is that the BLK22, which again, I would have liked Panasonic to do away with the BLK22, but a better battery in the GH7, because on the, it's, you know, some people say it's good, but for me on the GH6, it's, it's poor, the battery life's poor, but that's another thing. Um, so essentially the, the BLK22 is not even powerful enough to power the high frame rates in a um, SSD drive. So you'll get up to 60 frames. We've gone over this in other videos, you know, I'll, I'll link to those. But essentially it caps you at 60 frames. So if you want to do 100 frames or you want to do like um, anything beyond that in HD, you know, you can go up to 300 frames. It, none of that's going to be possible because you, you're you kind of, um, you're kind of capped by by the camera. This is SSD, not internal. And we're really talking about the micro four thirds cameras here. So, you know, we've got the uh, GH6 and the GH7 and also the G9 Mark II, which they've all essentially more or less, they share kind of the same video features, you know, it, at least in the high frame rates anyway, you know, you can go up to 120 in 4K, you can go up to uh, 300 frames a second in HD. Whereas if you're in the S series, so the full frame lineup, um, you, you generally cap to 60 frames a second, whether that's internal or external. And then with this, essentially what they're giving you, as long as you've got a USB PD power bank that's nine volt, three amp compatible for output, you can plug this battery in and it will give you enough power to do those high frame rate SSD modes. I mean, not everything is available anyway over SSD, but you know, it, it will let you do some of those higher frame rates that are available in SSD. The actual battery itself, um, it, it's supposed to be coming out at the same time as the GH7. I mean, the GH7 is, is available in a lot of places now, but this battery, there's almost nothing around for it. You can see on the Panasonic page, it's not even a completed product page. There's no information about it. It's just kind of, it's that. But um, what it managed to do was through um, B&H Photo, I mean, I'm in the UK and finding power supplies for um, Panasonic cameras in the UK is like finding the end of a rainbow. It's just absolutely ridiculous how hard it is to get things. Um, so I've had to order it through B&H Photo for, I think, after duties and shipping, it cost me about $60. But I thought, you know, I'm going to get one of these. I can do a, you know, I'll do a few videos about it and kind of show how it works, 
how it sort of holds up against the third party one if there's any differences i i kind of um i wanted to kind of show you know the actual practicality of using it and you know because you're gonna have to be a little bit more rigged out than you know obviously just use an internal battery so i kind of wanted to um show the logistics of this and and sort of how it's how it's going to work and um, there's a bit more information on here about it that um you know it does tell you a few bits and pieces about it but um really it, it, like i say the, the the sort of crux of it is that it's um it, it's aimed to allow you to use usb uh, usb or usb c power whilst also using an ssd drive or you know you don't have to use that but um yeah what i'll do is when i get it i'll do some tests see you know see how it works i'll be able to test it with my um uh what i probably will do <laughs> even though it doesn't support it i'm probably going to try it with my gh5 because the the uh, blk 22s actually do work in that so i'll I'll probably give that a test. I don't really want to sacrifice it and break it, but I, I do like to check out if these things work. So um, I'll give that a go. But, you know, on my GH6, I know I know it's going to work. It doesn't actually say that on here, but I, I, I've i seen other specifications for this where it tells you which cameras that it's compatible for. So um, I'm going to kind of uh, give it a try. And, yeah, if you want to see, you know, how this works, just um, subscribe and there'll be some videos popping up soon. I because uh, I've bought it in the US um, I think it's going to take about 10 days to arrive so hopefully next month I'll I'll have a few bits of content sort of around this explaining you know how it works how practical it is if it's worth buying I mean you'll be picking it up for a lot less than me I think it's 35 it would be 35 pounds was it in pounds on there yeah 35 pounds and that's including that um, but because I've I wanted to get it early and you know, like I said, I have no idea when this will arrive in the UK <laughs> in any shops. Like a lot of people don't supply these anyway. So um, I just sort of jumped in and got these while they're in stock. This is the only place I've been able to find that have them in stock and it actually looks like the right product. So I found a couple of other stores and they say it's the DCC 18. And then when you look at the pictures, they're the DCC 17. Um, which I know is incredibly confusing, like all the all the bits. But basically, the DCC seventeen is the adapter that goes onto the AC twelve. So it's got a barrel port on here, rather than obviously this is a USB C. It's got a barrel port, and I've got a video about the AC twelve adapter. So I'll link that up in the corner. But yeah, basically, um, if if you want to check out any bits about this, I'll, I'll kind of have a have a few bits and pieces upcoming. So. Um, yeah just make sure to subscribe to check that out and if you've got any questions or anything in advance that you kind of want to ask me you know if there are certain things it can do or anything like that just let me know and i'll make sure to kind of roll that into uh into some of the video content